Hey guys, what's going on? It's TMJ in the USA, episode three. Yeah, we are eating some breakfast at uh, at IHOP in uh, Venice. No, International House of Pancakes. Man. Yeah, wherever it is, Marina Venice, Marina Del Rey. Um, so we had four whole wheat pancakes each. I've counted three. I ate one, <laughs> and ten egg, and ten egg whites. Um, Joe's sipping on some bisa blaze while I'm sipping on a black coffee, trying to get a bit of energy into. Oh, me. what happened here, Steve? Well, I didn't know Joe was filming at this point. <laughs> but we'd hit hammies the night before, and I was brushing my teeth, and then my hammies <laughs> and ass cramped up, so I went and screwed like a little girl and ran to the bed. <laughs> and I found out Joe was filming me And face planted on the bed with a twin hamstring and glute cramp <laughs> This is pretty cool This is how we uh, meal prep or food prep in the hotel room So we couldn't get a, an, a Well, I wouldn't say we couldn't We didn't try to get an apartment in, in LA where we're staying So we're just in a hotel room So we don't have a kitchen So I was uh, washing up some broccoli in the sink there That's our little fridge We've got a bunch of meals in there So The bottom shelf's mine apart from the broccoli And then the top shelf is Joe's the top two shelves of mine. I'm on more, more solid meals than you are at the oh, moment. No, I haven't had any. I've had not any fluid, but liquid meals. Anyway, I get more <laughs> fridge. I get more fridge space because I'm the boss. All right. Anyway, doing some work there. Got Neve on the computer. So I just like to make note. I'm actually doing emails there. As you can see, my little signature down there. And then Joe's on it. Joe's on Facebook. It's not all beer and skittles. I think the viewers at home think that we're here having a, a fantastic farm, which we are. But we do spend a lot of time working as we would normally do throughout the day. Spent about three hours hitting out some emails yesterday. Anyway, back to the food. So we've been going to Whole Foods, a supermarket in the US, and they do like all these pre-cooked meats. So it's real easy for us to to get our chicken and our turkey and our steak. Man, what I got here, I got. Uh, some chicken breast, some grilled chicken breast, and underneath that, we got some smoked turkey breast. So you go there and you can weigh it out. The only thing, what have we done with the, the metric to imperial system to metric conversion? We know if we get roughly a half a pound of meat, that's about 220 odd gr- grams. Yeah, so half, a, half a pound is 220. So each, each meal we're eating half a pound of meat, whether it be chicken breast, uh, turkey, Beef, I don't know what they call it. Over. They call it some. They call it weird names over here. It's got all weird names. They don't call beef beef. They call it like brisket. Yeah. Now here we are. We're heading out to. Uh, I don't know where we're heading out to now. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, not a cloud in the sky. Joe's just showing you a bit of the weather. So beautiful weather in LA. There's a there's Neve Neve out the car. Neve wearing the wrong singlet. Thought we were going to New York. <laughs> we actually landed in LA. Just in uh, yeah. So we've got a lot of funny looks for him. Well. I, I collect um, NBA jerseys, <laughs> so I've got pretty much every state in America, so I should be right wherever I go. Should have won in LA, won in LA. Anyway, we got a sweet ride, man. We've got an ice bag hooked up in the back with some BCAAs help keep us anabolic during the LA heat as well. It's been quite warm over here too. 30 degrees Celsius. And here we are at, uh, oh, there's Neva the Lakers jersey. There we go. Flip the jerseys up. <laughs> I've got too many comments from LA people with dirty looks for wearing a New York jersey in LA. But then when I wore the LA jersey, everyone bagged on me for Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> they said, Kobe's too old. He's over. Get a new jersey. Anyway, we were just eating down there. Where were we? We were, on, um, we were down at Hollywood then, weren't we? Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood um, Boulevard. Stop for it. There's our Whole Foods boxes packed into the iso bag packed into the iso bag we had to make a makeshift ice pack as well with a plastic bag and some ice and pre-workout meal time down at sauce sauce venice um mine's the one without any veggies i got extra potatoes for my carbs so i'm having carbs with breakfast and carbs pre-workout so i'm having my whatever they called it beef and potato and i had beef and brown rice my pre-workout meal now mysterious friend had some grilled salmon and i don't know what she was eating something else broccoli and Whatever. She stole your broccoli. Anyway, now this is cool, man. Gold's Gym Venice just gave us approval to come in there and film. So we're actually going to be filming an entire workout of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's tomorrow, LA time. What are we going to be filming, Neve? Uh, filming some arms. So we, some arms. We've got an approval. They've got an approval, man. So Josh Fuglesby, my man down at Gold's Gym Corporate, just gave us approval today. But this, in the meantime, is really cool. This is actually a video tour of Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding. So we go through the next few minutes and walk you through the entire gym, man. So as you can see, this is the main, the, this was the original, just the original room that Pumping Arm was filmed in. And then they've expanded the gym over time. 
Yeah, so this room has like a mixture of dumbbells, old machines, new machines, um, a, a lot, lot of, of... A lot of calf machines, cables. A lot of leg weights in there. And then you and go squat through... Racks. And squat racks in that first room too. And then you go walk through here and you're into this second room, which is the real, real old machines right here. And then as we continue to move forward, you move into some more Nautilus type equipment too. But there's, there's, yeah, that much. There's no... There's... Just machines spread out everywhere, so you, you never have to wait for a machine. And I've said, like, uh, the best way to describe the Mecca, Gold's Venice, is it's really more than a gym. It's really more like a, a museum of, of fitness, a museum of bodybuilding, because you've got machines in there, man, that were used in the original pumping iron. They're like 50, 60 years old, right up to the new machines. You can see on all the, the walls, there's football jerseys, basketball jerseys, pictures of, of bodybuilders in that first room. Um, there was the picture of the Miz and Mr. Olympia winners. Every single year, they put up a new picture. Got a big super screen with the old, with previous year's Olympias playing on there. Yeah, previous year's Olympias just playing loop on the on the super screen in the in the main room, man. And it really is a museum of of health and fitness. I mean, it, there's no really other way to describe it. You just walk around there in awe. And this room is all your new hammer strength machines. So all your plate loaded hammer strength and life fitness, your pin loaded, newer dumbbells, and then all your cardio as well. Yeah, another dumbbell rack back in there. And then back in that back corner right there is some group fitness rooms. So they do group fitness down there as well, man. They got, you know, the body pump and body attack. I don't know what they call it over here, but similar type classes. And then towards the back of this room, as you can see down there, you have um, a lot of your cardio equipment. And then in this corner, a few more uh, Smith machines, squat rack. Um, and there's those pictures up on the wall of some more bodybuilders, man. It's, it's very inspiring to come and train here. It is. You have to tell me a story about me talking before talking oh yeah it's the only gym that i've ever trained with steve at where steve actually shuts up the entire two hours and trains <laughs> most of the time he'll be talking or texting or having a joke or stuffing around in one way or another comes to gold's venice shuts up and puts in some of the most solid workouts we have seen thus far that's it and then there is there is a special little part out here too an outdoor room. i don't know what you guys want to call it functional fitness whatever let's know. call it crossfit whatever um, crossfitters will love that so it's got like your battle ropes it's got all your your boxing your speedball your skipping ropes a lot of just stuff that you'd find in like a crossfit gym and just just stuff to and sleds stuff to work on your cardio as well just really cool stuff if you're a strong man you probably like that as well man if you get to la you have to come train here there is no excuse for not making your way down to gold's venice the mecca of body i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna call it the mecca of fitness because this is you pretty much the first time you come here you almost need half an hour just to walk around and take it all in before you can actually train yeah i've given you guys a real quick tour here and this tour has gone for five minutes and that's a quick tour man quick tour and that doesn't include yeah actually walking around and looking at everything looking at all the pictures is that you neve it could be it could be it hit the view hit the viewers at home with that angry face where are we coming to from joe massivejoes.com stay massive